Ah, oh, Wufu, did you drink all that soda? I drink it instead of water. You shouldn't do that. I'll explain it to you. Let knowledge click. Soda may look tasty, but inside, it's full of sugar. When you drink soda, the sugar washes over your teeth. And some germs inside your mouth start having a party. They eat the sugar, get super strong. And spit out acid that attacks your teeth. Making them yellow, crack, and hurt. Then I just need to brush my teeth. Mm, that's not all. Drinking too much soda makes fat build up in your body. Especially belly fat. And hidden fat around your heart, liver, and tummy. That kind of fat can be really bad for your health. Hmm. I can just exercise then. Oh. The sugar in soda can make your skin get old faster. It loses its bounds and gets wrinkly. You might look like an old man. Soda also makes it hard for your bones to get calcium. So, if you drink too much, your bones can get weak and break easily. Drinking water is the best, kids! Make sure to drink enough every day! Yeah. Hmm. That's it for today! Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episodes! Oh. Huh? Oh. Hey, where are you going? He's sleepwalking. <sighs> what is sleepwalking, Dr. Hoot? Let me explain to you. Let knowledge click. When we sleep, our brain goes through many sleep cycles, like going down and up a staircase, like from light sleep to deep sleep. Then come REM stage. That's when their brains start making dreams. Oh. Sleepwalking is more common in kids. That's because kids' brains are still growing. When they grow up, this problem usually goes away. That's why Buffo walks but doesn't know it. So, does everyone huh? sleepwalk? Mm, no, not at all. Sleepwalking is more common in kids. That's because kids' brains are still growing. When they grow up, this problem usually goes away. For adults, sleepwalking can happen if they have stress, lack of sleep, or tiredness. But if sleepwalkers keep walking around, it's dangerous, right, Dr. Who? Yes, huh? they might huh? trip, bump into things, or even walk outside without knowing. So, to be safe, we should keep the room tidy, no obstacles. Close and lock doors to avoid walking outside. If you see a sleepwalker, don't shout! Just gently guide them back to bed. If it happens many times, tell the doctor for help. We got it! That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Ow! <laughs> Mm. 
Woofoo! Your nails are way too long. Time for a trim. But I just cut them last month. Your nails always grow. I'll explain why. Let knowledge click. Your nails aren't just for decoration or scratching. They also protect the tips of your fingers. Under your nail, there's a special area called the matrix. Like a factory that's always working. New cells are made and push the old ones up. Together, they build your nail and push it out. That's how your nail grows longer. Even if you don't feel it, your nails grow a little every day. On average, a fingernail grows about 3 mm each month. Hmm. So my nails are growing now? Hmm. Exactly. And since they keep growing, if you don't trim them often, they can get too long and cause all kinds of trouble. That's not everything. Long nails are a perfect hiding place for germs and dirt. If you don't wash your hands well, the germs can sneak into your tummy. From now on, I'll check my nails every week. Let me clip them for you. <laughs> Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh. Huh? Hmm. Here you uh. are, Wufu. Jeez, uh, I thought you were a real moving skeleton. Uh. <laughs> Did you know oh. why we have bones in our bodies? Let knowledge clear. Imagine a body like a house. It needs a strong frame to stand upright. Just like that. We have bones because they act as the frame that supports our whole body. Thanks to our bones, we can stand up straight, run, jump, grab things, or dance around. With our bones to support us, our bodies would just be a pile of skin and hair that couldn't stand up at all. Bonds also help protect important parts inside our body, like the heart, brain, and lungs. Babies are born with around 300 soft bonds that haven't joined together yet. As you grow, these bonds slowly join together and get stronger, forming a total of 206 bonds. Kids' bonds can grow longer over time. That's how you get taller. I'll grow huh? tall like daddy, right, professor? Bonds grow over time, but you oh. need to take care of them if you want them to be strong and healthy. <laughs> to help your bones grow strong, you should drink milk every day. It's full of calcium, which means healthy bonds. <laughs> you can also eat foods like cheese, spinach, and kiwi. They're all great for your bones. Mm, I'll drink lots of milk so I can grow even taller than Daddy. That's all <laughs> for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Slow down, Lucy. Don't stub your mouth. Oh. You're joking. <laughs> What's happening to me? Your tummy's mad because you didn't chew your food properly. Oh. I'll tell you. Let knowledge please. 
Inside your tummy is a special team called the digestive system. When you chew your food well, your yeah. skin helps make it soft so it can slide down your throat. Then it goes through a long tube and into your stomach. Your stomach squeezes and adds special juices to break the food down. Next, it moves to the small intestine where the food turns into nutrients. The nutrients travel all around your body to help you grow strong. And if you don't chew well, trouble's coming. If a bite of food is too big and go down without enough chewing, it can get stuck in your throat. Not only that, the big piece is hard to digest. Your stomach gets tired and doesn't make enough juice. So you feel full, sore, or hear funny tummy sounds. As a result, your intestines can get all the nutrients. That means even if you eat a lot, your body still doesn't get strong. Wow! Uh -oh. My tummy! Uh -oh. huh? I'll chew better and stop rushing my food from now on. That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. Wow.